This video is an instructional assembly video of our downdraft stratified gasifier that many of you have asked for. Let's start with the top half of the gasifier. This diagram of the top half details all the different parts needed for the assembly of the gasifier, what they are made of, and their sizes. This is, the sizes may not be perfectly accurate. Um, it's only as good as my translation skills from actual working model to this model. And a couple things vary from model to model. The uh, exactness of the detailing is not what's important. What we're trying to convey here is how the gasifier is assembled and what the parts look like. When you make your gasifier, you will probably be altering this or that according to the size of uh, the materials you can find at hand. So let's get started with the top half of the gasifier, doing it piece by piece. And let's begin with the reactor core. The reactor core is a piece of well casing that's 4 and 1 8 inches ID and 4 and 5 8 inch OD. To the top of that, we weld a 3 16 inch plate of steel that's cut in the shape of a donut with a hole in the middle and uh, round on the outer perimeter. The reactor assembly is set into a gasifier body that's constructed from the top half of a 100 pound propane cylinder to which we weld another donut shaped piece of 3 16 inch thick uh, plate steel. The reactor core and the gasifier body are held together with quarter inch nut and bolt assemblies. We use high temperature silicon to form the seal between the two pieces and the gasifier top plate has been pre-drilled and tapped to accept quarter inch standard thread bolts that we can then screw in from the bottom up or from the top down. To the gasifier body, we weld a two inch pipe nipple that's the syngas out port. And then we install the whisker plate that's made from 3 16 inch plate steel. The whisker plate is suspended from the whisker plate support bracket by three 3 8 inch threaded steel rods. We can adjust the height of the whisker plate by adjusting the two steel nuts on top and on bottom. The whisker then rides on the whisker plate or just above it and the whiskers are tapped into the half inch lock collar. The whisker and the lock collar ride on a half inch drive rod assembly which has welded to it a char removal auger. And the char removal auger is then mounted within the auger containment tube. The auger containment tube keeps the auger and the drive rod in line with the bottom half of the gasifier. Now let's talk about the bottom half of the gasifier assembly. Here's the working diagram for the bottom half assembly. And let's go through it piece by piece also. The bottom of the gasifier is built from the remainder of the piece of 100 pound propane cylinder that was used to construct the top part of the gasifier. The top and the bottom halves of the gasifier are held together with eight tabs that are cut from one and a half inch angle iron. The top and bottom halves are then secured together using quarter inch nut and bolt assemblies. We use the same high temperature silicon to seal the joint between the top and bottom halves of the gasifier. Next we weld on leg slide attachment plates, three of them, and the leg slide one inch pipes are welded to the leg slide attachment plates. Adjustable three quarter inch pipe leg slides then can slide within the one inch leg slide pipes. To the bottom of the leg slide pipes is a half inch carriage bolt and nut assembly. We weld the half inch nut to the bottom of the leg slides and then fine adjustments can be made by screwing the half inch carriage bolt in or out of the nut. We weld on a four inch pipe nipple and that becomes 
the char access port to remove char from the bottom of the gasifier. And we buy a cap, a four inch pipe cap, to cap the bottom of the gasifier char removal port. The auger rod assembly then is fit into the gasifier and we drill a half inch hole through the bottom half of the gasifier. To seal that hole, we weld on a three quarter inch pipe nipple and then we have a three quarter inch cap with a half inch hole drilled through it. That space in there can be packed with fiberglass or some other material to make an airtight seal at the bottom of the gasifier. We use a half inch lock collar to hold the auger rod assembly in place and contain it in its up and down movement. And finally, we attach an auger whisker pulley drive so that we can then attach a motor or a hand crank to operate the whisker. Now let's talk a little bit about the pulley and the pulley tension assembly. There you see the pulley at the bottom of the gasifier and a side view of the uh, assembly, a top view of the assembly. You know it's said that a picture tells a thousand words and that's especially true if I'm the one doing the talking. There we have the activator arm that we spin to make the, everything work. This supplies tension to the pulley belt. And this is a bottom view. So here's a diagram of the whole operation. And let's go it through it step by step also. We begin with the two halves of the gasifier assembled as we did in the last section. And you'll note that one of the legs, the adjustable leg for the pulley tension mount, is several inches longer than the other gasifier stand adjustment legs. Over the top of that, we slip an assembly that contains a one inch steel pipe, a pulley tension plate, and the pulley tension support arm made out of three quarter inch pipe. The pulley tension support arm has mounted in it two brass bushings on top and on bottom so that the half inch drive rod spins nicely and freely through it. A half inch lock collar is put onto the top and that keeps the mechanism in place and the char removal activator, which we saw a picture of a couple moments ago, gets attached to that half inch lock collar. And the auger whisker drive pulley then gets attached to the bottom of the half inch drive rod. And that gets connected to the auger assembly via the pulley drive belt. And so let's put it all together now. A one, a two, a one, two, three. The gas fire body's connected to the auger containment tube. The gas fire body's connected to the whisker plate support brackets. The whisker plate support brackets are connected to the whisker plate. The gas fire top plate's connected to the reactor tube top plate. The reactor tube top plate's connected to the reactor tube. The gas fire body is connected to the leg stand attachment plates. The leg stand attachment plates are connected to the leg slide pipes. The leg slide pipes are connected to the stand pipes. Stand pipes connected to the little bolts on the bottom. The gas fire body is connected to the gas fire top and bottom attachment tabs. They attach the bottom and the top together. The char removal ports connected to the gas fire. The char removal port cap is connected to the Char removal port, the scene gas out ports connected to the gas fire. Do 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 do